morning. Sun's out, lovely day. And as you can see, the GS. The GS is being loaded. Why is the GS being loaded? I hear you ask. Why is the GS being loaded, Grant? Well, it's the first round of the Adventure Tech 500 series at Kill the Forest. I've uh, done it at the end of last year, so I'm going up again today to do it tomorrow and Sunday. I'm going to travel back Monday. Um, looking for the weather looks like, all right, it's cold now, it's five degrees, it's cold, but it's sunny and dry, that's something. Um, really, really looking forward to this. Uh, what's been happening to the GS since we last spoke then? This is Hertfordshire. Well, when we come back from Hertfordshire Campbell run, um, the suspension was giving me a hard time and I was like, oh my God, I need to sort this out. So I took the plunge and I sorted it out. Um, I went for the, uh, the Tour Tech Traction one track active, tractive, not quite sure how you pronounce it, the Dutch. Um, and I went for that front and rear, still keeping the ESA, because it's just easier for when I'm not rallying the bike, when I use it for other use. Uh, what else have I done? Well, so that, well, I think I'm, you knew that's gone back down to here. I put new bushes in here from, because uh, they've been in there four or five years now, so they're getting a bit tired, so I thought I'd give them a spruce up. Flexible. I've made a few suspension adjustments, um, but that's about it really. Uh, what's changed on this trip? Well, I'm not taking a bag on the back, which is the first time ever, which I've not done. Uh, there's no bag going on the back. I've got, I've just got to put some footwear in there, and that's it. I'm keeping it really, really low, as light as I can, um, and that's it. I'm, just trying to keep it simple, all of a better phrase. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. So the next time I'll see you, I'll be on the road, hopefully. This will be a big test for the um, Connect app, which I'm now using instead of the, um, instead of the navigator. So that's, um, I've, I've done a base camp last night and uh, put routing up there, which is boring for the first part, then cut the across cross currently on the last bit. Um, but that's it, yeah, so I am, Looking forward to getting rallying again. Can't wait. Right, see you soon. Well, I've just turned off the A1 rightly or wrongly because I've got fed up with it. And, uh, and it looks like I've hit a traffic jam. That's uh, on store on it. Traffic's been quite heavy today actually, um, but there's only so much motorway uh, the motorcyclist can sit on before he says, nope. I've got to turn off. So I'm about two hours away now, I think. Maybe a bit more even still, because I've decided to cut across country. Uh, right. Well, um, what can I say? We found a little road, and it's across country, and it's really nice. The sun's out, it's 18, 17, 18 degrees. There's literally no traffic. And uh got no idea where we are, but I can tell you we're at Langdon Beck. I've no idea where that is. Um it's in one lorry and one tractor. And uh I've got 14 mile of this. Somehow. It's uh what can I say? It's it's not a bad start to the weekend. Also, I'm not totally giving it large because a bunch of the Kenda big blocks are right. Nah. They're not the right tyre for these roads if you want to push. Probably Rally, probably Rally STR. I can feel them moving around a lot. The blocks of the tread, you can feel it doing this, which is quite unnerving but I think I've also got too low a pressure in the rear I think I might be 8 or 10 psi down on the rear I didn't bother checking them I don't tell anyone all right let's keep it as our secret well, I was only just saying the tires felt a bit squishy and lo and behold might come on for the tire rear one 
down to about 33. I think as it's climbing up in altitude, it just got worse. So I'll just put a bit of air in it. And uh, see what that comes back with. And uh, then carry on. But look at, look at this look. It's absolutely glorious. There's not a soul about. Great roads. Right. Fabulous. Great start. Well, I've just popped the tyre up and the road surface and the roads have just got even better and better. I don't have much battery left for the in the headset for the camera, but there's not a single car. I think I've seen one car all the time across this road. But it's just been going on for miles upon miles. It, hopefully this BMW app should record it and uh, see where we are. Because um, I imagine the weather might be a bit unpredictable this way. But the road is, as you can see, it's amazing. Well, I put a bit of air in the tyre and the Kenders are not handling quite so bad with the right air pressure in. Uh, I didn't pump them up fully. Uh, but I did pump them up to another 7 or 8 PSI. So I put them up to about 40, not 42. So... It's just like this for mile upon mile. So, cut. I didn't. I definitely didn't come up this way last time. You know, you can, you can brag in the hell out of it if you want to down here, but obviously there's animals and that to be wary of. And then northern people might attack you. You know what I like? They just come out the hedge with an axe or something, didn't they? You know, but. It's bumpy, but it's a really good test for the new suspension. It really is coping extremely well. You know, I'm not getting bows to bow at all. I had it on soft coming up, the road started to undulate, so I just hit the button, put it up to normal, and it just leveled it. Morning. Well, you can probably see. Frozen tent. Everywhere's frozen. But it's a beautiful morning. Uh, some breakfast and um, get ready to rock. Mm, let's go. Right, uh, just had the rider briefing. Slightly different this time. I've been warned of dust because it's been so dry here. Um, so there's going to be a lot of dust apparently, which I've never had before in any rallies. So it's always been wet and muddy. We also had a Forestry Commission were there and they had a million trees go down in three hours in the storm. So um, they've had to work really hard to clear the tracks. So uh, let's see how we get on. Time to get up and go. Recording. Right, just gathering for the start line. A few riders going off. Um, a couple of GSs in front of me, two adventurers. There's a really nice GS over there. Um, which is all singing and dancing. Um, which is really, really nice. Uh, got lots of bits on it. You know. Yeah, he's obviously chucked a shed load of money out of it. He's probably got two grand's worth of lights on that. Nice. Right. Oh, that's nice and shiny. Concussion and what? You had concussion? You had concussion, Phil? Yeah, I don't want to be on camera. Recording. Right, I'll go at uh, 19, 10, 19, 20 is my finish time. Hi, Gabby! <laughs> 
Uh, lovely Tenere, Kelly Roberts yellow beside me. Absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty, isn't it? Very nice. It's lovely, isn't it? We will try to. Let's go, buddy. Here I go. Right, we're on our way. Recording. Right, been in the dust now for a little while. HM890. There's a guy on a GS. I've seen him at the GS Trophy. He's quite a handy rider. And uh, he's up in front. Uh, and there's another KTO 1290. He's, he's a bit keen on that GS. Yeah. Another GS rider there. got to watch the speed, it's 80 through here and it's hard to keep the speed as kilometres that is and now the dust is kicking up. I might have to switch the goggles in a minute because you're losing visibility here as you can probably see. I think the GS has gone past this guy, I think he's on a Yamaha this one. Ten array from Twin Exhaust out the back. The struggle, the trouble is, is keeping the speed down, that's what I find. I just want to open this big baby up and let it go, but that's how I, um, that's how I mess up. <laughs> yeah, he's, oh, yeah, that's a KTM 990, I think. So at the moment, it's BMW 1, KTM nil. What have we got here? I went over. I'm going to get a penalty for that. I had to pass a KTM. I couldn't help myself. Morning. Second day. And I'm last today. Or virtually. Alright mate. Um, I was riding with him yesterday on the Africa Twin. Um, he was he's quite handy actually. Well, most of the riders here are quite handy. Yeah, so um, I'm at the back today. Phil's right over there. Get away, Phil! He's just not with it, is he? Is he going? No, he's miles away. He might wake up when he hears the GS. There he goes, look. It's away, Phil! There you go. He's famous. Right, just crack on, as they say. Right, bit of a disastrous start, really. Uh, well, not disaster. I made some suspension adjustments and pumped my tyres up, but I just put too much air in my tyre. And uh, the front felt absolutely awful, so I'm right in the back now. Uh, I don't know how far back, but right in the back. So I'm hopefully now I'll start making some time up. I think I've got the suspension right. You know, that's good. The dust is still, as you can see, but I've got, I think I've got KTM and Yamaha or something up front. So I'll just try and make some time up without going too quick. Uh, or oh yeah, the plots of KTM 990 Adventure are. Uh, this is gravelling here, it's really deep, but fun. You know, but as now, I've, I've upped the compression damping front and rear a bit on both, the high speed and the low speed. And I thought it would make it harsher, but it hasn't. It's sort of like smoothed it out. So it's uh, 
surprised me a little bit. I went a couple of clicks up on the low speed and another click on the high speed. So, um, I'll just take it easy with this chap. I don't want to put the wind up him. Last thing he needs is a bloody great GS passing him. I'll just wait and be patient. He's taking it real steady, so. Body over Graham. Right, here we go. Try and make some time up now. See if we can pick off. Right, 12 from here. There's 1302. Body weight to the side. Yeah, I had a bit of a disaster earlier. I was all over, the bike was all over the place. I could, then I realised I had about 46 psi in the front instead of 36. So I dropped the front down at about 34, the back on 38, and it seems to be about right for off-road. The suspension's riding nice. Yesterday, the fork seals, which aren't really fork seals on these, for those who know understand the televers and that, all they do is carry oil. They got really hot yesterday. And... Uh, over the stutter bumps and that, and the suspension work, because I could go quicker, because the suspension's that much better. And uh, this is the gate which was locked yesterday. We have to go around the outside of it. Obviously, they remember to open it today. Right, where are we? 1348, let's go right. That's the Yamaha. Right onto road. I make some time up through the woods. Fingers crossed. It's even better on the road. I thought it'd be too harsh on the road, but it's not. Uh, uh, right, turn right, 1472. Crack on. Recording. Well, what I have found is, because I haven't done, because I've done this one on my own, I found it a little bit easier, believe it or not. Um, not as in, I don't know what the phrase is, but just found giving myself more time to concentrate on the navigation. Um, and uh, just trust in your, trust in your navigator, trust your ICO, trust the direction you're heading and you're bearing. And you're right. Right, I think I thought I'd just stop and take a picture of the dam. That'll run in the background, hopefully. It is pretty spectacular. I'm not going to lie. I can't see nothing. Cool. Recording. 18 night I'm catching a few riders now because I started sort of like two thirds down the pack I think so I'll be careful for speeding because he's been really critical on it so unless you want to trundle around all day but I do want to have some fun and give it some beans and kick up some dust for what a better phrase today because as you can see it's extremely dusty well 890 should be turned right here which it is unless everyone's going wrong as well as me whoop bit of slide way up. there we go yeah all good fun so the next one oh we've got quite a way main stick to the main piece Right, let's see if we can pick some more riders off nice and slowly without going over 80 again. Sorry mum, if you're watching. Oh, we have to stop. There's a lorry. It's a mate on his Yamaha. Very decent of him. Thank you. Not a lot of room. I don't want to drop into that marsh because it's a long way down there. Right. So now it's uh, what we got here so far. Uh, Tenere. Uh, 
and another Tenere T7 but it's just trying to make as much progress as I can having the just bang it down again the and gotta be careful because you can soon just come out the corner and not go Whoa. just before you know traction control lights up as it as the enduro mode fights the gear and uh, the back end spins up and you're doing 80 odd and it's like nah you don't want to be doing that recording as you can see in the mirror it's another tenor a700 there's loads of them you know i've no idea what this is with that exhaust on that's like totally throwing me it's brand new as well it's, it's a fair play take it nice and steady which is nice handful of front brake air ground it looks like well I don't know what that is I haven't got a clue I'm stumped it's chain driven so it's not a Oh, it's a Honda 500. Dust is kicking up now. So I might have to hang back a bit here, I think. So I can't see where I'm going. Someone just went the wrong way as you saw. Right, house on the left. We're still on an 80. I think that's a Honda Africa Dim. Yeah it is. Looks like I picked up one of the marshals now. So that's kind of cheating but there's nothing I can do about it, he's on the same road as me. If I pass him, I'll go over speed, so... We might as well just sit down and relax. It's a bit wetter here. Right, muddy section now. Uh, as you can see, it's quite, quite deep mud, but makes a change from the dust. Uh, there's a warning to go slow on it, and... Uh, just sort of like trying to, as you say, momentum is your friend. But it is pretty slick and it will spin up very easy, even with the off-road tyres on. But I'm just, and it's downhill as well, which nobody likes going downhill in mud. Big hole, and the suspension takes it. It's really muddy now. I see why he says slow mud in muddy section. He's not wrong. But, you know, if I could do it, anyone could do it. Oh, this way, she's slick there. I'd rather go slow. Just take a lot of second or third gear. Very, very muddy. You must have done this yesterday on the way up, but because you're going uphill, you're on the gas, and it sort of like bites better. But when you're downhill, last thing you want to do is overshoot a corner, because you just tend to look at the corner and like, ah, straight into the tree. Just, whoa! Nearly went there. I'll tell you, it's really, really slick. Hey, bloody hell, he is slick, isn't it? Right, which way do we go now? 3210, round the corner. There's such a difference coming downhill, it is going uphill. But there it is on the thing, downhill and up, so. 3210, 337, on this one here. Right, back on it. 
recording. You can see the devastation here. They just uprooted these trees from the storm. It's just like annihilated the place. Good God. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty devastating. A million trees in three hours went down. That's uh, that's pretty uh, that's pretty mental, isn't it? See where Bradley has found a 701, another KTM, and guess what? T700, another KTM. Uh, I don't know what that one is. 03. It could be an old KTM. Husqvarna, Africa Twin, KTM, 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 Husqvarna, KTM. Oh, one GS. But it really is a KTM and T700 fest. But it doesn't matter because it's great fun. It is just great fun. Okay, mate. You good? Hello, mate. You're right. Hello. I'm brilliant. Uh -huh. First one to the crest, yeah. That's a twelve fifty. But as we all know, the twelve fifties are fucking shit. Excuse my French with the low talk. I think when that happens, everyone kind of like takes stock and slows down when they see it. Because, you know, you get into a level of confidence. The guy on the, I'll say the guy on that 800 up front, he's obviously ridden a lot. You can tell. You know, so, uh, but old Root got the guy out, went to Graham sees that, eh? That'll teach it to overtake me, he says. That's probably uh, 15 grand with the bike sitting in a the ditch there, unfortunately. But it is dusty as you can see, I'll clean, so I clean the lens a bit, because it's extremely dusty. But these guys aren't really going very quick, everyone's got on a go slow now. So, Right, um, hope you can see alright. Well, we've just come from Kielder Castle, and uh, I met up with Phil, who I've camped near, who I've sit on a couple of rallies since Wales, and uh, he's an ex motocross and supercross rider, so he knows what he's doing, but we just started riding together. You know, I've been riding on and off with different people but mostly on my own and uh, but it's, 
Me and Phil got on well. It's, it's the last like uh, 70k now. And it just switched to off road. Right, I'm going to try and see if I can catch up with Philip, but I just don't think I can. He's just too damn quick. You know, I'm trying to sit down, motocross it as best I can, foot out. Traction controls, even with the big tyres, is. Hang on a second, where did we go? 188886. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there it is. 886 is round behind myself. Yep. With that, I thought I was gone wrong then. It's quite dusty and dirty and gravelly over bridge. I wonder how many people are going to miss that today. To the left hand side. Seriously, God, he's that fast. No wonder his name's Hair. He's off a lot of bloody hair. Make sure the legs is clean. There's dust everywhere. My best side. Yeah, whatever. Um, back, safe and sound. Um, only real issues is the, the redundant fork seals. They don't really do anything. They they have been leaking a wee bit about over the weekend. Um, but apart from that, she's fine. The dust is a bit horrendous. Lawrence, Lawrence or Arabia had less dust than this. You know, it's a bloody nightmare. But it's still bikes coming in. I don't know how I done. I think I've done all right, but I don't know. I didn't think I'd get zero points yesterday, but I did, so that was a bonus. So, um, yeah, it's been all right. Haven't had to pull anyone out of the ditch. Nearly had to pull a Triumph out, but uh, he managed to get himself out on his own. But um, that's about it really. Um, till next time. It's got a long ride home. It's a beautiful day. I'm tempted to ride now. We'll wait till the morning. Decision, decision, say. Recording. Right. Another kill to 500 over. Um, yeah. Uh, what can we say about this one? Dusty. Well, uh, I thought it was Lawrence of Arabia, it's so bloody dusty. It was really dusty. Um, met some new friends, made some new friends, met some old friends. All round good time. Um, stayed upright, didn't drop it. Had a few sticky moments here and there. Just because you couldn't see for the dust. And uh, But, you know, big bikes on gravelly tracks, it happens. Uh, managed to get no penalty points, so zero zero hero that's me so uh, yeah very very pleased with that uh, very happy indeed and then um, that's it I'm now sort of like it's now starting to drizzle um, it's been quite cold in the evenings but the weather was nice while we was here so like I say on the way home it doesn't really matter I don't know what the weather's like where I'm at where it is on home where, it, where I'm uh, speak English you fuck idiot um, I don't know what the weather's like at home. I uh, haven't looked. Just doesn't matter, really, does it, really? you got your gear on, you just get on with it, don't you? Yeah. Oh, look at them daffodils, eh? Lovely. Right, nearly home. No, well, not nearly home. Got about 30-odd miles. And this is the infamous A17 Sutton Bridge queue. Um, it's been going on now for... I don't know, it's been a, a week or two now, it's the problem with the bridge and the queue is just, well, it just goes on and on and on, it's like a nightmare. Um, it's the same coming in, but I didn't record it, I was just watching what I was doing, but luckily 
on one. Oh, it's ended. That's not too bad. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it started again. Ah, oh, what a nightmare, hey? Joys of motorcycles. Ain't got to worry about too much of that. Right, crack on. Get home. Well, back home now. A beautiful day. Just chucking it down when we left. All through Newcastle and that. Um, as you can see the bike. Dust City. Had one issue all weekend, really. It's the fork seals. All right, if you know BMW, they know they're not really fork seals. They're like, uh, I don't think you can see that in there. Let me, let me just turn the camera a bit of a knob. Hang on. Yeah, those fork seals there, as much as they're not under pressure or anything, there's no damping in them, that's done with the shopping drawer back the front. They both leak like sieves. So I'm gonna to have to take them forks out and drop some seals in there. And if I remember rightly from doing my 1200, after having the bent fork out my accident, I think they just pull straight out. And that's it, you're just pushing all one in. It's that simple. So we'll see what the seals are. I might be able to get a seal like that at work. I've got all the shear, it's a funny looking seal. I don't know if that's just a dust cap on top and there's a seal underneath. We'll find out. Investigation. But other than that, it's all good. Um, can the big blocks warm quite well? Not. Hmm, not really sure about that. See the hand there? It's clever, isn't it? Um, yeah, not really sure. No, they're okay, but I was I was cruising sort of motorway speeds. I'll probably be all right. Front one's all right. I'll probably put another rear on when it comes to it. Now it's time for the pressure washer, I think. Get this thing clean so I can get it stripped down. But the amount of dust that we get, horrendous. Right then, that's it for the day. That's it for the weekend. Sun's out, get the pressure washer out. Get this thing clean. Get all the rally gear off it and get it back to normal street mode. Right then, uh, I don't know what the next event is. The Wales 500, which I really want to do. I can't, it's on my wife's birthday and our anniversary. So I don't think she's going to let me get away with that. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. Watch this space.